4,000 kilometers south of Marseille, in the savanna of Burkina Faso, in the heart of West Africa, the rainy season has begun. The conditions for a tree that bears a very special kind of fruit are ideal on the fringes of the Sahel zone. The tree in question is the she butter tree. It cannot be cultivated and grown on plantations. It is one of the butter trees. According to legend, it has mysterious powers. Women have always had a special relationship to it. Only they are allowed to touch it. They collect the fruit of the sheep butter tree between the end of June and the beginning of September. The women work in groups. This is one of the very few ways they have of making money. L'Occitan and the women's organization of the United Nations work together closely in order to support the women's economic independence in the trade of she butter. The local population has used the fruit for centuries. They extract a valuable substance from it that they use as medicine, for washing, for body care and for food. The women are interested in what is hidden in the green flesh of the fruit, the nut. The dried and ground nuts of the she butter fruit are processed further. There is still a lot to be done to create karité butter, as she butter is also known in this part of the world. Felicity Yameogo has been making she butter for over 30 years. Madame de Carité, as she is also called, shows the women how to extract the oil from the fruit. The crushed nuts are mixed with water to form a paste. The women pound the paste with their hands until it is smooth. Artists and sweaty work in temperatures of up to 40 degrees Celsius in the shade. The brown paste has turned into a white, thickish mass after an hour. On average, a woman makes 40 kilos of butter a day. She is paid between 18 and 30 euro for this work. This is good pay by Burkina Faso standards. We use the butter for our food, for the oil cake. As you can see, we don't use any wood here. We do everything with oil cake, which we use as fuel. And then from oil cake, we get ash when we make a fire. And we use this to make potash for our sauces and for soap. So you see, you can really make great things from she butter. For baby care, right after birth, when the child is born, we use she butter when the baby is washed for the first time. We rub butter into these parts of the baby and then wash the child with warm water. As a consequence, the baby will certainly get strong muscles. And on the subject of the body, take us women as an example. I'm 50 already, but I look like, like 23. We rub it on our bodies and that feeds the skin, and you get perfectly smooth and shining skin. In other words, she butter keeps you young. Scientific tests have confirmed that she butter provides the skin with more moisture than other oils and slows the aging process down. The paste has to sweat in the pot. The water that was initially needed to extract the oil now has to be removed. She butter is particularly suitable for soap making as up to 15% of the oils do not saponify. No other oil achieves this. This makes the soap more beneficial to the skin. The oil floats on the water. Felicité Yameogo uses a calabash to skim it off. The oil turns to butter as soon as it cools, but she butter still has a long journey ahead of it in Burkina Faso before it is exported. The butter is processed further at a soap factory in Bobo di Ulasu, about 350 kilometers southwest of the capital Ouagadougou. It is first liquefied and filtered. Saponification can then begin. After being dried in a vacuumed vat, 
cooled and chopped by sharp rotating blades, a smooth substance materializes that is ultimately used by L'Occitane as a basic material for the manufacture of soap. Soap noodles of shea butter.